Hi, my name's Alex Walford and I wanted to show you a quick example of how you can use StreamSets Data Collector to pull uh, uh, a RESTful endpoint and persist the data. Um, and uh, we're going to use a weather um, feed. So I have this um, API call. Um, this is where I live, Lafayette, Colorado, and I have an API key right here. And so I'm going to put this in the uh, URL, um, resource URL. And uh, there are different modes of operation. In this case, we're going to poll every five seconds. There's also streaming too. Now, uh, when you're building pipelines, uh, it's often handy uh, to use the uh, trash uh, destination just so that you can eyeball the data. Um, every pipeline's got to have a, uh, an origin and a destination. So I'm going to preview this data. Let's have a quick look at it. And so I can see that I have this nested data structure here. Um, and it contains, you know, weather and temperature and things like that. Um, so um, what I want to do is flatten this out. Um, so I'm going to select a processor, uh, which is a flattener. Um, I'm going to insert that in here. And because I'm going to be using uh, inserting this into a database, the the default separator is a dot. I want to use an underscore because that's going to make uh, more database friendly uh, names. Um, so let's have a look and see see uh, what it looks like now. So we can see this record. It was a nested structure. Now it's flat. Um, I don't want to insert all of these things. I'm going to say take you know long lat um, temperature, pressure, humidity, something like that out of here. Um, so, uh, let's grab a remover, field remover. Um, so I'm going to uh, choose what to keep here. Get rid of this, tidy it up. So the field remover. So I'm going to say just keep these particular fields and I have this uh, preview and uh, so now I can say I want long, lat, temperature, pressure, humidity. Uh, that will do. Yeah. Uh, so let's preview again. And now I can see that I have just the fields that I need. Now I have um, created a little table in MySQL. I will. Uh, execute this create table, or it looks like I've already. I'm going to drop it and recreate it. How about that? Uh, so now I have an empty table. And so let's set up a JDBC destination. So the, the destination is going to be JDBC, and it's going to ask me for a couple of uh, credentials and things here. So I'm going to need a JDBC URL. The table name is going to be uh, Open Weather Map. I don't need any special mappings. I can get rid of that. Default operation is going to be Insert. And I think that's good to go. And then a username and a password. And so let's try and run this pipeline. So within about five seconds, hopefully, we will have some data. Yeah, look, OK, here we have long lat, uh, temperature, pressure, humidity, and a timestamp. OK, well, I hope that was uh, interesting, and um, thanks, for, for, thanks for watching.